Hey guys, this video shows some highlights of my roles in my gym. By the way, I've done jujitsu for about a year and got blue belt, but took about two and a half years of break because I had to serve military service for my country. So I am kinda rusty and might not be as good as other blue belts, so please be generous. My first partner is our coach Jung. He's brown belt and he's obviously going to toy around with me in this role. Here he deliberately gave me a single leg and I'll wait for it, but he uses my force to get flower sweep instantly. I kinda knew I was in trouble so I roll sideways to continue scrambling instead of getting flat on my back. Here I go into his half guard and he gets an underhook through my right knee and he gets enough space to bring his own leg over my leg and there he forces me into his 50-50 guard. Here he uses his right knee to block my upper body and gets Kimura on my left arm. He applies pressure on the Kimura lock and also pushes me with his knee which ends up in a sweep and a side control. As soon as he sees me trying to face him and get half guard back, he traps my arm and head into his dark stroke. I try to kinda scramble around to get back up, but it helps him even more to get the lock. And here he tries to trade my leg, because if he does, I get into almost no space to breathe, so I roll around to get the breathing space. As I try to retain my guard again, he gets enough time to adjust his grip and finish, but he lets me go. Here I try to use De La Hiva guard, but he knows I do that all the time to him and counters with knee bar. He applies no force or pressure, which makes him a great coach and rolling partner. And there we go, the bell goes, and respect at the end, great coach, and of course, great jujitsu fighter. Here is my second role against one of the white belts. He only comes to jujitsu once a week for nogi classes, but he is very strong, athletic, and intelligent. Here I go for the ankle tap, which Jordan Burroughs uses against Ben Eskren. It goes horribly wrong because I was going for the wrong foot and is hilarious. And there he punishes me by trying to get my back. I have enough space and time to recover to a guard but that was very well played by my opponent because he understands how good it is to get opponents back. Here I go for the ankle tap which is awesome takedown to use when both players are down on their knees and being awkward. Here I take a big step next to one of his legs and another big step to free my legs from his potential guard. While doing that, I make sure that I'm controlling his legs with my hands so that his legs do not interfere my movement. I probably should have kept rotating to get north-south or take his back, but he does well stopping me from getting to side control and gets into half guard position. Here, I try to lift his upper leg to break his guard, but as soon as I do that, he grabs my both wrists and pulls me into his full guard. I know I should have broke the wrist control and post her up to not get into his guard, but I was really worn out from rolling with June and that's an excellent excuse. From here, he knows my I'm posturing up to break his guard and tries to hip bump sweep me. Excellent attempt, but instead of grabbing onto my wrist, he should have extended his right hand to break my base by pulling my right hand. So that base gave me enough time to stand up and get out of his full guard. I'm sure he did not learn the hip bump sweep, but he kinda knew that was the moment to use that sweep, so very smart. Here I have control on his wrists, and see that he's posturing straight up. So I threw his wrists up in the air, shoot for a double leg, he realizes he's in trouble, but that was when I already started rotating and had dominance on his legs. So although he tries to sprawl, he already lost his balance to do so. And he hits the mat, and here I am, mounting him. Instead of getting in panic mode, he tries to retain guard by pushing one of my leg. Most beginners just panic and try to hip bump, bridge, or do other stuff to get me off and end up getting in a worse position like giving me their back. But this guy is very calm and tries to get out of bad position before it happens. Here I am back on my feet, passing his guard, just basic side steps with holding his legs down. Here he tries to get half guard, but before he does, I dominate his upper leg by getting underhook. And there I get my leg out, which he was trying to lock, and I get side control. I get my knee on his belly and try to rush my process to get mount by literally lifting my knee up in the air. 
In that moment, he, I was thinking this guy is tired and won't see it coming, but instead he gets his hand on my knee and pushes upwards to create space to scramble. Not only did he get out of the bad position, but he also tried to pass my guard right away. I almost gave him side control, but I pushed his upper body to hip escape and get my guard back. And there goes the bell, respect in the end, excellent roll, and dead. Here I'm rolling against another white belt. He's only 14 years old, but look at the size of him. As we get into that awkward position again, I try to ankle tap again to start rolling. Here I get the control on his leg and his neck, which makes it easier to pass his guard. Instead of stopping, I circle around to get his back. As you can see, we weren't really going hard, but we were having fun, and there we go. Back on the feet again. Here, as I have control on his neck and arm, I step forward a bit, and as soon as I feel his resistance, I do the arm drag to finish my takedown. As I'm dragging him, you can see my forehead is hitting the mat, and that is to maximize my leverage and power with my entire body instead of just my arms. He tries to pass my guard by lifting my leg over his shoulder and that gave me a chance to get him into triangle lock. If his posture is up, it would be harder to get the locks, so I break his upper body down by dragging his neck towards me and there we go, triangle. And there goes the bell, respect at the end, awesome. So that was some highlights of my rolls with awesome Jujiteros. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.